Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to format graphs in Power BI. So, let's go quickly to the video. Here is the basic Power BI dashboard that we have given up in our previous video. If you are new to Power BI, you can go to that video and learn on how to create this graph in Power BI. I have put a link of that video in the description box below. So today, we are going to do some formattings on this graph. Let's go and format the first chart, the clustered column chart here. This chart represents the marks obtained by 5 students in a school for science and math. Light blue color represents the science mark and dark blue color represents math mark. Before you format the chart, you have to click the chart inside so that it is highlighted and then you can go to visualizations widget and do the changes. First of all, let's change the colors of these bars. So for that, you go to format your visual icon and there in the column scroll, you see the two colors appear. So I'm going to change this dark blue color which is math mark to this brown color. Now let's go and change the x-axis. So you select the chart, go to format your visual icon and there you go to x-axis sub widget. There you see the formats related to x-axis. I'm going to increase the font of x-axis from 9 to 15. Now the x-axis font has been increased and you can make it bold if you like and you can change the color like that and also you can give a title to the x-axis here the title of the x-axis is student it is automatically coming from the table data so i'm going to rename this x-axis as student names now the title of the exercise has been changed to student names. In the same way, we can format the y-axis too. So, so for that, select the chart and go to format icon here and go to y-axis. And there, you go to values. I'm going to change the y-axis font size, this one from 9 to 15 and I like to have it bold too if you like you can change the font colors and you can give a title to y-axis too so I'm going to write a title as marks obtained by students the title appeared on y-axis and also you can have the y-axis in the inverted range if you like by clicking this invert range for now i don't prefer the invert range so i'm going to make it off now let's go to our next chart the area chart so say we can apply the same methods you select the chart first and now it's lines not the columns line style we can change the line style if you prefer and the line colors
we can adjust the shade area transparency we can edit the x axis and y axis also x axis i'm going to change the x axis title to names and i'm going to increase the title font to 15 and i'm going to change the font of the values of the x axis 15 I'm, go I'm going to make it bold and i'm selecting the black and in the same way we can change the formattings of y axis also I'm going to change the fonts of the values of the y axis to 15. It's like too big now. 12. And I'm going to make it bold. And I'm going to give a title to x axis, y axis. Marks. now let's go and change this pie chart first of all we select inside the chart not like in these two charts the uh, there are no columns there are only sizes now so we have to go format icon and go to slices and there you can choose whatever the preferred colors of you for this chart for yellow i'm going to select yellow for lucy this one gray and bella i keep it same and you can do a rotation if you like it means this chart can be rotated as your preference like this when you go to rotation it is one if we increase this chart gets rotated to your preferred one so if I want to add Lucy marks on the top and go and do more rotation until Lucy's marks comes on the tops like this and also now let's go and format the detail labels here the details of these sizes are marked outside if you prefer to have it inside you can go and select the position as inside or whatever the preferred position And the values of this detail label font sizes can be increased, can be bold, can change the colors. It's better if the detail labels inside like this. Now let's go and format this table. For that we select the table and go to format your visuals there you find the formatting tool for this table first of all we'll change the format of the values here values inside the table so you go to values and i'm going to increase the font size to 12 and I'm going to change the font size of the first rows to 12 black and I'm going to change the font colors of the alternative rows to
to dark blue. We can change the format of the column headers too. So for that, you go to column headers and you can change font size to 14 or whatever preferred value of you. And I'm going to make it bold and make it center aligned. In the same way, we can change the fonts of the row headers too. We go to row headers. Make I'm going to make it 12 font size and make it bold. So those are some basic formattings which is good to practice by beginners. If you like to learn more about Power BI, subscribe to our channel HD Athena Notes.